In the first part of 4.4 and 4.5, we talked about um, a few postulates for proving that two triangles are congruent to each other. There were actually five total, um, and they were SSS, SAS, AAS, ASA, and HL. And those were all referring to some combination of angles and sides um, being congruent between the two triangles. Um, so we're going to look at some actual proofs for these two sections. And about half of the proofs are going to ask you to prove that two triangles are congruent. So it's going to be a lot like the exercises we did on the worksheet. It's just that you're going to actually have uh, two column proof and explain what you're doing as you solve the problem. Um, so in our proofs, because we're going to be showing two triangles are congruent and using one of these postulates, um, we may have to show that some of the sides between the two triangles are congruent or some of the angles. Um, so I have some tips on things to look for in a picture um, to tell if you can maybe say that a couple of angles are congruent even if it's not given already. Uh, first, we're actually going to look at sides. So um, you, in your proof, you'll have a picture. And you will be given some information, but most likely you're going to have to add some information um, based on observations about the picture or the given information. So um, things that you should look for to show that a couple of sides are congruent. If you see the word midpoint in the given for the proof, that's going to tell you most likely that two sides are congruent. If you see the word bisect, referring to a segment. So if you see that a segment is being bisected, that's another tip that you're probably going to be able to show two sides are congruent. And then if two triangles are literally sharing a side, like these two triangles here, um, then obviously they actually share a side and that side will be congruent. Um, and when we talk about the reason for saying that, we're going to say the reflexive property. The reflexive property basically says that a line segment is congruent to itself. So that will be the reason, and I'll show you what that looks like when we actually do one of these proofs. Some things you should look for with regard to angles. Um, again, if we see the word bisect, but this time referring to an angle, so if we see that the given is saying an angle is being bisected, then that is a clue that two angles, two smaller angles, are going to be congruent to each other. If you have vertical angles in your picture, then you also know that those angles will be congruent. If you have parallel lines, and then one of the angle pairs that we know are congruent with parallel lines, like alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, or corresponding angles, then those angles will be congruent. Um, and then this one doesn't come, off, come up too often, but if two triangles are literally sharing an angle like in this picture here, um, then we can use reflexive property again with the angle. So there, these triangles are overlapping and they actually um, completely share that angle that's marked. So here's a pretty basic triangle proof. Um, there's some information that's given. We're given that side RS is congruent to side TS and that's already marked on the picture. And we're also told that V is the midpoint of RT. And we're trying to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Um, so, of course, the very first statement and reason is going to be the given. So what we want to do now, um, since we're trying to prove these two triangles are congruent and we only have that one side is um, the same between them, we need to do a little bit more work to get one of the postulates um, that shows that the triangles are congruent. So we can go back to those two lists for sides and for angles of things to look for. Um, to help you add stuff to the proof. Um, so if we look at the section on uh, sides, you'll see that we do have the word midpoint in the given. We're told that V is the midpoint of RT. And that means that V is right in the perfect center um, of RT. It means it cuts it perfectly in half. So what it means is actually that these two segments are congruent to each other. So we can state that. And the reason we're going to put for this is because that's what midpoint means. It means that it that point cuts the line into two equal pieces. And the way that we can write this, um, if you want to say because 
V is the midpoint of RT, that's fine. Um, the more technical reason to give is that that's the definition of midpoint. Continuing down the list of um, things to look for in the side section, um, we also have two triangles that are literally sharing a side. They're sharing side VS. So this side is congruent between the two triangles as well. And the way we're going to say that is we're going to say that VS is congruent to VS. And the reason that we're going to give is the reflexive property, which says that every line segment is congruent to itself. Now looking at the picture, um, we are at the point where we have one of the triangle postulates. We have side, 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 and that's enough information to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So we're ready to put the last line of the proof in now. So we can say that triangle RSV is congruent to triangle TSV because of side, side, side. And we're done. Here we have another proof where we are trying to show that two triangles are congruent to each other. Um, we're given that angle S is congruent to angle U and that TR bisects angle STU. So we'll add the given in right now. So if we look at the um, tips again, uh, again, we only have that one angle is congruent between the two triangles, so we have to add in some more stuff here. Um, so if we go back to the tips for showing sides and angles are congruent, um, in the sides list, we can see that, again, we have the two triangles literally sharing a side. So we can mark that side congruent and add it to our proof by reflexive property again. Now we do have the word bisect, but it is an angle that's being bisected. It says that TR is bisecting angle STU. So um, this doesn't tell us that two line segments are congruent. It actually is going to tell us that two angles are congruent. So TR bisects STU. Angle STU is this angle here. And that angle is being chopped into two perfectly equal pieces. And those pieces are angle STR and angle UTR. So I'm going to add that into my proof. And the reason for that is because that's what bisect means. So we're going to put definition of bisect for this one. At this point, we have um, one of the postulates demonstrated uh, for triangle congruence. We have angle, angle, side, so we are ready to say that the triangles are congruent. So we can say the triangles are congruent because of angle, angle, side. Now let's say for a moment that um, instead of this proof asking you to show the two triangles were congruent, that you were asked to show that two of the angles were congruent. For instance, let's say that you were asked to prove that angle SRT was congruent to angle URT. So my tip for this, if you're in a triangle proof and you're asked to prove that a couple of parts of the triangles are congruent, go ahead and show the triangles are congruent anyway. So the proof, um, would be exactly the same so far as what we did when we were showing the triangles were congruent. Then, once we've said the triangles are congruent, we basically showed that they're identical copies of each other. So if they are exact copies of each other, all of their corresponding parts are also exact copies of each other. So if the triangles are the same, then these two angles will also be the same. So we'll just add an extra line at the bottom. Now, if you can't remember what to put here, you're welcome to say because the triangles are congruent for your reason, and I'll know what you mean. Um, but the formal reason to give is CPCTC. And that, is, that says that if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are congruent. And it stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Um, but you can just write the letters and that's the abbreviation so I'll know what you mean.